Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you haven't seen my latest videos, I recently uh, got rid of my cable and I, I've been looking into options uh, for receiving some programming. I've set up one of the Amazon Basics uh, flat amplified antenna, indoor antenna, it just goes on the window. And I found out I needed a new DVD player and the one that I purchased had uh, Wi-Fi in it and I just streamed from Amazon which um, I'm actually finding now that there's plenty of programming for me too just for free programming right off of, the, off of Amazon but um, I bought this antenna and I have a rotor that I don't use any longer from an, a previous antenna up in the attic so I'm thinking of hooking that back up and this is going to be a lot the older antenna I think had one element that was almost six feet wide so I think this is a little bit smaller, so it won't take up as, as much space. But um, open this. Thought I'd open this up. Take a look inside here. Oh, it's seeming to, it's a bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Try not to tear the box, I guess. This one, this one, okay. Wow, this is a lot smaller, so it's not going to take up any space. Wow, it's smaller than, a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. So it's, it's plastic. Some elements here. These elements are really small. All right, there's another. Another example of not really having something to compare it to, it's hard to get a, uh, an impression on the size of this. But I think there are more elements underneath here. There's some brackets. See instructions. Some hardware. Okay, here's some more elements. That's more like it. Please install the reflector in this position. So here's an example of all the different components you get in the box here for this indoor antenna. This is an indoor antenna. This is not supposed to be mounted outside. And since this is up in the attic, I do have cable already running. That's why I want to give this a try also. I'm thinking I might, I might get a couple more channels. Uh, there were some PBS channels that I thought I would get that I'm not getting for some reason with the uh, Amazon Basics antenna. Oh, the smaller element, that's these elements in the front here. But this is high definition TV indoor antenna. So yeah, I could put a splitter on and then I have the existing cables so I can go to multiple TVs instead of buying. I guess you could put, you know, a splitter on the Amazon Basics, but then you'd just be running these cables along the floor from one room to another. Not too uh, practical. So let me put this together. Do I have to read this or can I just wing it? So I'll just go by the pictures. Can we get all that in the shot here? Here are all the components again. It's still a lot smaller than the old one, which I think is still up in the attic. So the first thing you do is you put the UHF elements, uh, elements together, which go on here, it looks like. So 
So I do need an electric or cordless drill, a 1 8 drill bit, Phillips head screwdriver, a 7 30 seconds socket or 5.5 millimeters, and coax cable not included. Well the first thing I need to install looks like they're calling these dipoles. So these now when you press these together it doesn't look like they're going to fit in there but they do. These go in here except this this particular one has a metal tab in there that I think you're supposed to that's supposed to separate these two on the inside so I don't know how okay that fits. So there's that one and If you can see here, so there's a slot there, and this one has a little tab at these. And if you look also on this, on the top side here is A, B, and C. So and it's, that's supposed to fit in there. Okay, so that's in. And then these, these do not, there is not a metal tab. There's something in there, but. So the same thing, these slide into these slots. And these have self-tapping screws, and this has a screw and a nut on it. You can see the nut will slide into the uh, plastic formed hexagon there for the nut. Let me get these in. It does not want to go in there. There it is. That's what that looks like. Actually, I think I messed up because these... Is it my imagination or... I think these are larger than this. Let's see here. Put that in. They just had elastics on these. They didn't have any designation for A, B, and C. Yeah, that looks, that's smaller. This is a little bit larger. And then, of course, that's even larger. And it looks like that's how it's supposed to be. Diagram here. You can see there. So these nuts go 
go in here and hold your finger there so it doesn't fall out. Thread it with a screw from the other side. And start it by, by hand. Is that in there? Let me get my screwdriver. I don't even need the handle yet just to start this. Okay, that's on. That on. Then there are these smaller self tapping screws. Don't want to tighten too too much. It's just plastic and aluminum, and this is indoor, so it's not going to be getting hit by the weather. Did I? Let's see what size screws these are. Just notice there are, there's this one that's a little bit longer, and there should be four of these size. Yep, okay. Those are the initial elements here. These are considered the dipole, and these are the calling these um, directors. These two front ones called directors. This here is the VHF dipole. So to connect these up I guess just like this and looks like it goes on like this and just this one little measly screw is going to self tapping screw is going to secure this dipole VHF dipole
Next are these reflector brackets. And there's four of them. So we have to assemble these. And it looks like somehow these just clip together. Like that. So you end up with these two pieces. And then you install these reflectors. And you just press fit. When do I use this? This shows you, oh, I guess these, this is it. The lines here are where they intersect with these. So they have to be properly spaced. Okay. So. Like that. And the other one goes about here. That looks about right. And just put the rest in. So I'd recommend putting one on each end, getting the measurement correct, and then you can just visually line up the remaining tubes or reflectors calling these the reflectors So that's the reflector section all finished. So now attaching this reflector section to this section, uh, if you look sideways, there's two clips here on both sides that are, that are going to accommodate this larger uh, dipole. So, here's the reflector, and this is going in here, into these, I wonder if I can just slide these in, probably have to squeeze them into Here, have to make sure this is centered, I would imagine. That's easy enough. And there it is. Something doesn't seem right here. Oh, there's a piece of foam here. What is this for? Take this off. Okay. So there was a piece of foam covering up 
right here, revealing these two screws with nuts on them. So these have to be taken off. Looks like they have lock washers on them. Thought it was a little flimsy there. So the last thing is on the opposite side here. Put these two dipole antenna here has two holes on either side. Slide up into these built-in screws here. I'm assuming you put a lock washer on this side with the nut. Oh, this must be where they were saying you need a like a five millimeter socket. Do I have that? Oh yeah, so I'll just do that by hand. It's only aluminum and plastic, so not too tight. I don't want to squish anything. Now it's complete, and yeah, that's nothing moving on that now. So there's the completed HD indoor HD TV antenna, which I'm going to hook up to my router and compare this with the Amazon Basics flat high definition antenna. There's a side view. There's the side. That's the back. So if we look at the amount of room you're going to need for this. Let's see from top to bottom. Sort of See if we can get an appropriate measurements here. Probably from here to here. Two seven. This is twenty inches, and the widest here this is the dipole. That's twenty nine inches. So in the depth, about a foot. If I'll say 15 inches. So you have this bracket here that connects to your mast. So definitely a lot smaller than the one I had up there. So they do have, I was wondering, they do have a mast and I can hook this up to the rotor. And I don't even think I don't even need this. This is for attaching it to a piece of wood or the floor up in the attic. So I just need this this side. So the mast will go in on this. And the coax connects right here. I guess this is a little clip for maybe a pre-amplifier if you want to. Why are these two clips here? Maybe they sell a pre-amplifier. 
that attaches to this. Well, that's it for, I think I'll, so I think I'll do a separate video on comparing the receptions and I'll, I'll do another video. So that's it. I think I'll do a separate video on comparing the reception of this antenna to the uh, flat antenna I have in the window. And I'll show you real quickly in that video uh, how I have it attached to the rotor. But for now, this is the unboxing of the antenna. It's a HDTV indoor 1080p antenna that I purchased off of Amazon. And I guess this is made by GE. Thanks for watching.